What's really different in the world of money, and I find it quite fascinating, is that technology has just really turned a complete revolutionary, a revolutionary circle to the point where now that advice is a fraction uh, it's a fraction of the price it used to be. Let me try and make that simple. Uh, 34 years ago, I certainly would have said to a typical investor, you need to own some uh, American shares. And back then, probably would have cost us about 2% to buy them, probably about 2% per annum to actually hold the shares in, in some sort of fund. Whereas now, of course, um, you know, here we can use an exchange traded fund for, you know, we're, we're talking, you know, 10, 20, 50 basis points. So the cost of investing has changed dramatically. But also, I really feel that well, I think there's a terrific place in the market for top quality advice firms. I strongly believe that. The reality is they can't service that many people. That there are, for every, I guess, 10 people who walk in the door of a fee for service firm, there are probably another several hundred Australians are saying, well, look, I'm probably not a big enough investor. And also many Australians, and I respect this, Australians are DIY people. So it's no surprise to me that people are saying, look, you know, I'd like to do this from home. I'd like to use technology. I want to see the best in the world. And look bluntly, I want it to be cheap. And there's no reason why you can't have that today. It's very clear if you look at the, you know, all of the capabilities inside an InvestSmart, where, you know, where you've got Intelligent Investor, you've got Eureka Report, you've got asset allocation models, you've got all sorts of technology games that you can play to, to help you decide on your risk profile, your asset allocation, and so on. So look, in actual fact, you really can do nearly everything online these days. But I'm still very respectful of people who'd really actually rather just spend a bit of time sitting down with a lawyer, an accountant, or a financial planner, and actually getting that, that personal tailored thing going. So the reality is you can do everything online these days. The big one for me though, is that we're now in an era of low returns. Now when inflation was much higher, now you look at when I started IPAC back in 83, inflation was about 14%. By definition, you're looking at returns of nearly 20% just across basic property and basic shares, just inflation plus five or 6%. Now, if you're paying say 2% for that, paying two to get 20, but if you're in an older fashioned model and you're paying 2% to get maybe 6%, and that is a real challenge. Because the one thing I do know about investment is that fees are a certainty. And in particular, when we're anticipating a period of low inflation, low interest rates, and certainly in my view, lower returns than we've seen in the past, Clearly, you can't afford to be giving up, say, a third of your return in fees. So for me, it's not only the technology revolution, it's actually the investment climate means that fees are becoming a bigger proportion of our return. And what I see in a service like InvestSmart, and the reason I own shares in the company, and the reason I hold some of my investments here, is bluntly, I do think the cost of investing has to come down in this climate, and technology is a brilliant way to do it. <music>